What's up guys, I'm the East Coaster Fan. Today is the beginning of the East Coaster Fan Summer 2021 Road Trip, where we're going to be hitting up Knobles, Cedar Point, and Hershey Park. Today is day one and we're going to hit up Knobles, but right now I'm at home. We're actually about to leave. We packed everything up, and I'm going to show you a little bit of the car ride there for each of the destinations, as well as each of the parks to the best of my ability. Alrighty, so we have made it to Knobles. Impulse is testing and we're heading towards the back to get our ride wristbands that allow us to go ride all day. Like I said before, I'm really excited to be here at Knobles. I just love all the old fashioned buildings and I passed a few rides that already look interesting, including over there, which is Twister. Looks to be a very enjoyable wooden coaster, but there's an even better one towards the back that I'm anticipating more. At last, I'm at one of my most anticipated wooden coasters of the trip, the Phoenix. I've heard so many stories about how much airtime you get on this, so I'm really excited to ride. I know line is forming now, so let's hop in it and experience our first ever ride on Phoenix. Oh my lord, so I just got off the Phoenix. What the hell was that? That was awesome. So I got two rides on it so far, but I definitely want to get more later in the day. One in second row and one in the very back. I will say the back is a lot more violent, but in the front you still get some very good airtime moments. I mean, some of those airtime, that's a lethal ejector. All the seats have are buzz bars and your knees literally hit the top of them. It's insane. And this is definitely going to be ranked highly among all my wooden coasters. Also, there's a mini model right here of the ride. Over this bridge, across this very nice creek right here, is our next major roller coaster. And this is Twister. A little bit about this ride. This was actually built in house, meaning it was created by the park itself. They actually have a lumber yard not too far away from the park, and that's where they get all their wood from. But anyway, this looks to be an interesting ride. Not sure if this is going to be better than Twister. Oh, sorry. Better than uh, Phoenix, or about the same. That's about what I've heard about this ride. However, I can't deny that it has an awesome appearance and an even cooler sign. So let's go on.
All right, so just finished Twister. I thought that was another really good wooden coaster. I do think Phoenix is better. However, the ride experience reminded me a lot of Ghost Rider at Knott's Berry Farm. Also, I did not imagine the ride to have that many laterals. I mean, you are being thrown to the side. Also, for some reason, the tunnel on the ride, when you were in the middle of it, it was really cold because it dove underground. Really strange. This is an upcharge, so I'm probably not going to be doing it, but this is the Knobles Crystal Pool. It's an actual swimming pool located in the park, and there's slides in the back that you can see, and diving boards. Not a lot of parks have those. And it seems like people are really enjoying both the pool and the diving board. So this creek here has actually been known to flood before, and there are actually signs located all over the park saying like how high the water can sometimes get which is really insane. I mean, I can't imagine these pathways filled with tons of water. So this pathway might look really weird to you and that's because this used to be a road. In fact, what we're on right now is a bridge. So they just took this road and didn't change anything about it. It just made it a pathway. The best way to describe this park is weird. There are a lot of wacky things in this place. Like there's a giant open grass field behind this new for 2020 ride and there's nothing there meanwhile over here is a campground and you can actually see some people with rvs that have just parked over here and stay on vacation so the park's antique cars here are called gasoline alley and it's an interesting pair of antique cars because it takes you through, under, and next to the Phoenix roller coaster. It's definitely one way to get the best views of Phoenix. So we're gonna get on this and see how it is. I'm showing next to this car here because I just rode Gasoline Alley. It was a really cool ride. Now I'm with my family today, so my brother drove. So it was nice seeing all the views you could get from the car. So that building over there is a restaurant and that's actually where we ate lunch today. Now, if you know Knobles, you know that they've won the Golden Ticket Award for best park food. So I had a hamburger today we had potato skins and a dessert known as a tiger tail which is a cinnamon pretzel covered in chocolate and caramel and let me tell you all of it was really good food definitely one of the better theme park foods i've ever eaten and it was really cheap to buy it wasn't that bad so definitely for the price you're getting very quality food and I can totally agree that this is one of the best places to get amusement park food. All right, so I just did the sky ride. That was interesting. I know they used to have one of those at uh, Lake Compounds, but they tore it out, unfortunately. But it was definitely an interesting version of a sky ride. Not a great view going up, but it's really uh, good coming down as you get a nice overhead view of the entire park. But we're going to get an even better one from the Ferris wheel. We just got off the Ferris wheel and I think we're going to do impulse next.
going to notice that um, throughout this summer 2021 road trip series, I'm going to be interrupting a couple of times whenever I forgot to record or just messed up a record. In this case, I forgot to actually uh, record my reactions for both Impulse and Cosmos Curves. So, wearing a Knobel shirt that I got, and I'm going to tell you what I thought of both those rides. So first, let's talk about Impulse. I was expecting this ride to be very similar to um, Thunderbolt at Coney Island, being that it was made by Zaire. The only really major co-star I've ridden by them is Verbolton, so I was kind of expecting that rattle. And it did have that rattle, and to be honest, I wasn't that impressed with the ride. Some of the um, forces on it weren't uh, super favorable, especially with those restraints. And, yeah, I mean, the only great part of that ride was kind of that uh, zero-G roll that it had towards the end. Other than that, it was kind of a forgettable ride and not one that I'd be willing to ride again next time I go to the park. The other one is Cosmos Curves, and this I found to be a very good kiddie coaster. And it brings you around three times, which is usually more than most parks are willing to allow. So... I'd say Impulse is okay, and Cosmos Curves is a lot better than I expected. But anyway, let's get back to the video. While the looper over there is unfortunately closed, the famous Knobles flyers are open. So I'll get a ride on those and tell you what I think when I get off. Just got off the flyer, that was crazy. <laughs> I can't believe how much I was able to snap on those. I literally felt the cables shaking as I was going close to what felt like 90 degrees in the air. Oh my goodness, that was just awesome. Okay, so I just got off Cosmotron. That was one of the most fun flat rides I've ever been on. Oh my God. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, it's basically a Himalaya ride. And it's like a rock concert. Oh my goodness. They had strobe, they had lights, there was a disco inside. Oh, I, was, I had a smile on my face the entire time I was riding that. Uh, well, I am starting to feel a little bit of a drizzle, but I haven't heard any thunder yet, so that's still good. But we'll see what we ride next. Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Haunted Mansion. Welcome, Noble's Haunted Mansion. It's not exactly the one at Disney, but this is still considered to be, by a lot of people, one of the best dark rides. Let me, let me phrase that, actually. Classic dark rides in the world is a fantastic ride from what I've heard, and I'm excited to go on it. Just got off Knobel's famous Haunted Mansion. That was really good. A lot of great scares in there. Some that I didn't expect. But I think it's time for a little game known as Fascination. All right, so this is Fascination. And basically what you gotta do is roll the ball and do tic-tac-toe. So I played a couple games of this. I actually won my first ever game. And this is what you get when you win. It's a $5 coupon. Sometimes they do uh, jackpot, ja not jackbox, jackpot games as well. So I won and actually my brother won as well. But overall, really fun experience and really addicting. You can definitely spend a lot of money here and get a lot of prizes. <laughs> Okay, so that's the end of our visit here at Knobles. 
we are leaving uh, an hour and a half early just so we can check into our hotel and eat some dinner. But I had a great time here. Originally the weather said it was not going to be that great, but it actually turned out pretty fine. I was able to get on a lot more than I thought I was going to. Now unfortunately, like I said before, bl black uh, diamonds and flying turns were not open. Along with some other rides like the Looper, I, I think due to staffing issues. But I hope that someday I can come back here and ride those again because I really like this place and I hope to get back here really soon. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a like. If you really like it, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Instagram for the most recent updates on my trip. And also, if you're interested in following along with the rest of the trip, which includes Cedar Point and Hershey Park, follow the playlist in the playlist section of my YouTube channel. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.